So, what did you say? I haven't said anything yet. Well, I give you, I didn't give you extra time. Oh my! You just kind of, you did kind of roll into that. Like it wasn't really, like you didn't do me any favors. I kind of did. I gotta be. I don't know. If, <laughs> I, guess, I don't know what you're talking about. All. What are you talking? About? I gave you all the favors. What do you mean? I kind of did. I said you had ten seconds, and then I rolled the thing. Actually, I said you had six, and I, I gave you more. So you're welcome. Thanks. Yeah, and you still oh, a great guy. What a great yeah. guy. What a good dude. Good Four friend. Four extra seconds. No yeah. way. I had time to run to the store. I could have done so many other things. Create your Hello. thesis. Exactly. Exactly. Very, you know, submitted and approved. Yeah. It has been done story. by now. Oh, my gosh. Well, welcome to the Bromance episode here, ladies and gentlemen of a gaming podcast, episode 58. I'm here with Sparking Vig Vari. Veg Vari. <laughs> over le- power level over 9,000 or 8,000 if it's canon. That's, that's how it is, you know. So the We whole, don't know. The whole I mean, Dragon Ball. Oh, it's it's eight thousand. It's stat. sparking zero. It's all about what ifs. Hey, that's the best part of the game. That is, it really is. Because you know, as a Dragon Ball fan, playing the same story over and over again, I'm like, all right. Even they're <laughs> even they're getting tired of it. They're like, here's some slideshows. You know what? You know what's up. And then the what ifs are more. <laughs> the what ifs are more vegged out as you can, as you can see. So no, not only that, but the further along the timeline you get. The oh, most, yeah. like, like once you hit super it's like oh we're just going to tell you the exact story but once you're in like you know the first couple arcs they're like ah, yeah. you, spark notes here spark notes yeah, you, you don't, don't need, need to see that you no. saw the movie you don't know you don't need to see that but like, yeah. yeah and this is the first time super is actually being told in a story format actually mm-hmm. because uh, Kac- uh vegeta not that v- what was that called the kakarot game oh, yeah. Kakarot, kakarot. yeah yeah, yeah. That super was still like out and then the show didn't no, the yeah, they only had the fighters, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I have a question. Is GT not canon then? It never was. It never was. And it was just straight up never canon. Because they they're, got, they're, they're, like they're another... in the games, right? Those characters are in the yeah. games still. Because it's just like... It's just, just like an alt universe like a, yeah, alt univ- yeah, exactly. They're not canon. Okay, though. so like because Brawly wasn't canon, and now there is a canon version of Brawly. Correct. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah, movie, that, movie giant Brawly and robot, thing, yeah. Yeah. not a real thing. That giant baby robot, not a not a real thing from GT. Yeah, that's devastating. Is it though? We need giant baby robots. We need more of those. Who knows? The way how they're doing their shows now, they might just bring it up. Like it's Dragon so Ball Daima is literally GT all over again. It's just Rugrats. Yeah. Oh, but let's make, a wish to make them. It could happen. Yeah. You don't know. Reptar could Daima? show up. You I don't, don't know. Never say never. Happen. Never say never. You know. Then you know they, there's no stopping. They need money. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is a capitalist enterprise. I mean, and they need yeah, money. Yeah. They, they, they need money. Up. They need money. And what, what makes money? More episodes. You know? So, Babies. Baby, baby, baby versions of... Baby versions of... Baby of Vegeta. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because apparently... I think they cool. need to do, like, a Dragon Ball, like, DC crossover to have Superman versus Goku, finally. Like, that's got to happen, right? You think? No. I don't think we need I don't that. know. They just did a crossover with, like, the Ninja Turtles and Godzilla. But and that... Stuff like that. Like, they're doing it. I mean, but that that's more, I don't but know. Those are reptiles. That works. <laughs> I mean, what happens when Goku and Batman just meet? Goku just murders them? Oh, g- great story. Yeah. Maybe he finds a weakness. I don't know. It's more Superman Martha. versus Goku that I think is the debate. Isn't okay. Batman superpower time? The more time you give him, the better chance he wins. I thought it was detective skills. No. The more time he has. The See, team, Batman with some out. capsule corp gear, though, like he'd be crazy. He'd be pretty cool. He'd be overpowered. Yeah, it'd be great. He could he could hold his own against Goku. But stuff. he won't be as rich though. Who's richer, Bulma or Batman? I don't know. Does That's a Bulma good question. Have money? Probably Bulma, right? Well, Cap- they, she's Cap- like the Cap- court is like Capsule yeah. Corp. <laughs> I never really thought about it as a as a. They own business. everything. A but if you yeah, need they're... a car, just click on it and throw it. Here's your car. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Steve, I guess how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I mean, eating, eating a lot of food, playing a lot of games. Yes. A lot of games coming out. Such yeah. as? I could I could guess maybe one. Maybe. <laughs> Which one? Do it. Do it. Yes. Uh, uh, metaphor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone tried it, though? No, metaphor? I haven't installed, but... Yeah, I haven't but installed I, and I haven't touched it yet. I, I, it I only have the demo, and I still haven't touched that yet, so... Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't no. have eighty. I don't have eighty hours to spare right now. I put in a lot of time with uh, Sparking Zero over the weekend. Beat Until Dawn remake. Uh, New World is out. Yeah. I'll as well, yeah. yeah, looking forward to to playing more of that. That, uh, but yeah, it's just games, 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 games. Neva's out today as well. And never then, say uh, never. Never, never say never. That's right. See, like bring that, it around. Right? Bring it oh, around. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Riley has yet to tweet out yet. I'm still waiting, Riley. I, don't I literally did tweet. <laughs> I did tweet. You never said need, anything. Need me, we need need me a boo bucket. Need right me there. a boo bucket. I right said. It's it now. It now. Blame the platform. I got it. Me. I am devastated with this accusation. Hey, you know what? Why don't you tell me about it with, with how your day is going as well? Okay. Um... <laughs> It's going fine. I was a little hurt by what you pulled back there, but we'll talk about it off offline. Um, yep, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> no, everything's good. I, I just feel like uh, I was running around all weekend uh, doing mm-hmm. Thanksgiving stuff, and I'm I'm looking forward to. I, I did play some Sparking Zero, oh, and yeah. Grade Eight Vegeta is just the worst. Thank I don't. You. I, what? I, I have. I it is so difficult. Can we talk about this? Because yeah, this absolutely. Was, this yeah. was this was a. You heard about this? You want? <laughs> you heard about this? You want, have you heard? I've about seen this? a lot of complaints online about Vegeta. Yes. Great. You know, this, this was this was my like Dark Souls moment where I was like, oh, I finally get why all the people who are like, oh, games need to have like an easy mode. This is this is the moment. No. I like, oh, I get it. I get it now because that that fight can fuck off. I don't yeah. understand how like the escalation. It, it, and then it just goes back to normal for the rest of the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's so OP. Mm-hmm. 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 That's how the games were all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? It has the worst hitboxes. It has the worst, <laughs> like, grab and re- like. You I'm, can't I'm grab him. It's too big. No, no, no. He can just grab you <laughs> just out of nowhere. He just grabs oh, yeah, you and grinds yeah. you. Yeah. He grinds, yeah. smushes you and slams you down. And then he's oh, always like, and mechanic. there's always key blasts. Yeah, well, that's it's, you know, our levels. <laughs> Oh, what do you mean? The worst. Just okay. Z burst behind him, do like and launch him in and just do a Kamehameha. That's it. Have you played the game? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Have you actually played, played this game, game yeah, where you I just have. giving no, advice? You no, that is it. exactly what you do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That sounds wow. Okay. Have wow. You, is that you, easy? Oh. Just Z burst. Get you Did you distance. beat great? You beat grade eight Vegeta. Me, yeah. I'm, really, like, I'm, I'm far. I did. I would say I did lose to him a couple of times. I was like, all right, like what's going on? Like just a couple, like probably four or five times. I was just hitting my head against the wall. That I actually. Never beat oh, you should do yeah. it. That's what you should stop it. doing. No, you should stop it. doing that. I even so, tried dropping the difficulty. Fair, and it playing this game, I've been playing this game for like a, a while, and like, I, like it's okay. Is this like your guys' first introductory to this series, or? No, I did play it on PS2, like the yeah, the original, like I, I remember right? like that that the OG franchise and stuff yeah. like that. I'm playing through that, so it is it it is really cool to be back, like playing that yeah. sort of game again. But I have no clue how to beat Great Ape Vegeta. That is so, just so difficult. I I had the same thing. I think it was two nights in a row that I was sitting there for a light at least. I would say I don't know a couple hours to the point where I was just visibly frustrated. And I was like, I I just can't do this anymore. I, I finally stepped away and I went through all the basic tutorials in the in the training. Okay. They, that, they don't help either, by the way. <laughs> I, I think that they did because it, it just, do, but yeah. I mean, once you get like to the later ones, maybe like towards like the advance, I started understanding like some of the more fundamentals and like under the surface level mechanics and stuff like that came back, mm-hmm. beat them. And then the game is just easy, easy peasy. I was like, I, I don't understand why that game just all of a sudden just ramps up the difficulty to 11. It's like, <laughs> oh, great, you finished this. Now no other bot, even hit, hit as like his super, like time, the time's freezing yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his like most powerful is nowhere near this fucking monkey. And I'm like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, it's just, it, it blows my mind. And monk- they- I, I have seen a lot of complaints about the monkey. Online, which is what it's just it's just crazy. It's crazy. But like, I don't know. It's, I just see this old school gaming. I'm like, I bet you I'll, I'll defeat this. It's the same way how people love Dark Souls. Like for me, Dark for Souls. Sure. I'm like, why are you asking for punishment? 
you know for sure and, and <laughs> i i did i did compare it uh yeah. to playing sekiro for the first time where it's like you yeah. get Se sekiro and it's the it's the general that's on the uh horse if, for people who who remember that boss is specifically made to train you to be like, no, you're not going to play the way that you want to play. You're going to play the yeah. way that we want you to play. And to me, that's the exact same fight with um, uh, Monkey Vegeta. I don't remember his name. <laughs> but, um, where, where it is like, you're not going to get past this unless you understand yeah. the game on a mechanical fundamental level. And thankfully, I was able to. And hopefully, Riley, you... Uh, you get through. I'll that give it another go. Yeah, yeah. I kind of ran out. Right, right. You gotta do it. Because yeah, once better. you get through that, the game is just it is so much. There, fun. I mean, there was still. I mean, there was. I don't. I don't know how many what ifs you you've been through. But there was one what if. I was like, oh my god, like this one's gonna take me a while to, to do. And that was the whole uh, freezer one. But you had to you had to literally fight the entire Ginyu team side by in side a, in, a, in a row. I'm like, yeah. oh my, god, I'm drained. There's no <laughs> way I can do it. Like this is tiring. I don't care how good. How good Goku is! Like you gotta fight all of them. At the but the, same but time. the nice thing is, is that once you get past, you know, the the Vegeta fight, it, it, you don't yeah. have to. You're not strong armed into doing like all the difficult no, no, like, no. what if tasks. Yeah. You can just keep going, going, and like yeah, theoretically, just go through the canon narrative, and then all of a sudden you're you can go to like a different yeah. character and stuff like that, which I kind of appreciate. But yeah. it, it's just getting through that one fight that I was like, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even play this game. And there's a lot of there's a lot of cheesing yet where you're like I have to cheese this and like no, that's okay if you do that cheese is good. So I love cheese. Cheese is fantastic. You like cheese, Riley? A big cheese guy. Yeah. What, what's your cheese. favorite? <laughs> uh, my favorite cheese? Yeah. I feel like like in like like if we go fancy, if we're going crackers and cheese. Yeah, like shakut, like, uh, shakut style. If like you if you look at a shakuteri board and you're like, ah, they don't have this cheese on it, I'm I'm kind of kind of cheesed. You know what? Like <laughs> I think it's in rave. <laughs> you have like a like a good like like uh, goat cheese with like blueberries in it. You ever have like Whoa. those? Mm, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's, um... those like you put that on a cracker, no problem. And then Carrie, what was the one we had at Thanksgiving at your mom's place? <laughs> Peppercorn Borset? Oh, Borsin. Borsin. Oh, yeah. I love a good Peppercorn. Peppercorn, Peppercorn Borsin. So good. Damn. That that really that really kind of that those are some good cheeses. Like those are some good spreadables. Right. <laughs> spreadable. <laughs> That's a terrible word, by the way. <laughs> well, so they are. They're like yeah, softer so cheese bad. that you they put on a little knife and you spread them on the cracker. You got any spreadables, spreadables around here? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's the spreadable cheese? I want to apply it to my little my little dough uh, disc. I want to put it on that bad boy and I want to scarf it down. The body of Christ. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's giving religion. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Hey, you know what? Hopefully I can help you out with your fight with Great Ape Vegeta. You know? Just cheese it. Just cheese it. Just cheese, cheese it. it. Just cheese cheese it, it. You know? Uh, Riley, what is going on with, uh, as our Nintendo expert here, what's going on with Nintendo? Because people are willing to <laughs> find out what boards they're making to, to compare the boards with GameCube boards and, and like, oh, this is the same rumble that's not in the same N64 one, but it's the it's USB C now, and then Nintendo quietly has their play test going on, which we we all know someone's gonna leak it. But some random kid in USA random town is gonna be like, "Oh, this is what Nintendo's doing." I told my friends in the schoolyard, yeah. And then and then yeah. today, ni oh, 19 hours ago, I should say not today. Nintendo's like, "Cheers to three years." Uh, we hope you had a chance to revisit and discover classic games on N64, Game Boy, and uh sega genesis and as uh, we're, we're excited uh what what excitement will will what excitement will the next year bring the nintendo switch online expansion pack stay tuned to find out what the hell is going on here i think there's a lot is gamecube happening is it more uh, of this oh hey <laughs> more n64 yeah uh i was just holding it i I'm didn't i just had it in my hand the whole time i love it oh, that's good um no i think <laughs> that we'll probably see a lot of things happening i mean like that not organically that their subscription service has to grow with the arrival of this new console and what that looks like. I, I don't, I don't know, but I would assume, you know, they have a number of legacy consoles they can tap into 
And as we've learned, they're not afraid of tapping into partner consoles too, like Sega Genesis. So, you know, uh, with Dreamcast coming, maybe like, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Dreamcast, like GameCube, uh, DS needs like all of these things need to find a home eventually. So I would think probably something like that. Uh, but I don't know, maybe pro probably Pokemon games at some point, they have no problem rolling out some of the legacy games that aren't the core titles. So well, Pokemon has their own problem right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah. are we talking about that oh, as well? Yeah, yeah, we could oh, yeah, 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 we could dive into that uh, if you want well, to. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's stick with Nintendo for a moment. I yeah, think yeah. that <laughs> they, there is nothing but uh potential for them to grow that from like every angle through all of their legacy software and also in terms of like how they're able to scale new games because like Mario Kart's DLC is available through that service. So these sorts of things are going to be probably pretty common moving forward. But what do you guys think that they're testing? I didn't ask any of you. I, it, it's interesting because to me, delving deeper into any kind of like NSO or expanding that doesn't really require play tests. You don't need someone to be like, this GameCube game runs well. That, that would be an internal thing. That would be something that you go to like, um, you know, like an, an external like partnership or, or a yeah. company like that. You don't need- You got your own tester for that. Yeah. yeah, you don't need, you know, community feedback for that kind of stuff. So to me, that feels like it's got to be like an online thing. It has to be some sort of online infrastructure, it has to be some sort of achievement system maybe it has to be some oh, something yeah. that requires an on like an online community-based thing which to me i i would assume is if you're looking to revamp or get prepared for switch to you want to rescale that entire ecosystem like because i because mm -hmm. i don't think that you can scale up to, to your point riley uh, scale up an entire online infrastructure whether or not you're looking at a future Mario Kart, a future Smash Brothers, if you want to get Call of Duty on there and everything and still expect people to be willing to buy into, you're picking up your phone and you're doing party chat through that. You're, you have like weird Bluetooth connectivity issues. You're, they, they just need to get to kind of some, some sort of parity with like Xbox, PlayStation, stuff like that. Maybe it's even like a Discord thing discord integration cool. i don't know yeah. but i Over i there. just feel like it, it, yeah it, it, all of the, everything that i just mentioned long overdue and i think that if you're inviting what was it like eleven thousand people that's yeah i forgot what the limit was but it was not yeah. it was up for like a few seconds and they they capped so of course like, naturally yeah. but but yeah. eleven thousand to me feels substantial enough that you get global coverage you get some sort of um uh, and enough of a pool that you can kind of get some great data from and mm -hmm. without it just being like a big blowout or something really tight knit like it's it's only a new feature or something like that it, it seems to me like they want global scale for it in order to be i don't know to, to get a better read on whatever this feature is yeah it could also be like their online function i guess yeah see how certain yeah. games might run online probably cloud this cloud well, yeah that's the only I thing really i was thinking is like some <laughs> i'm not of ready the, for cloud yet <laughs> as we as we scale some of the uh libraries from older game consoles that are being brought over uh streaming those will have to be a solution at some point so yeah uh, and then maybe you can pick and choose a few to download so like a global test of something some of the streaming services for like a gamecube lineup would make sense to me if that's what they're testing but I think we're imminent. We're I, like we're gonna find out what it is pretty soon, they, oh, like yeah. imminently. <laughs> like the day, the moment that it opens, someone's just gonna be like, "Oh yeah, on on Reddit, like this Here is a screenshot." Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. the exactly. and they have to know that. So I think we got to be close to a Nintendo Direct or something, right? Yeah. Like that. Just like, why don't you get out ahead of that and then be like, "Yeah, hey, this is what you signed up for." Yeah, and then like, the next yeah. day, yeah, exactly, or the day of, or something like that. Yeah. Like I think I don't know. A part of me thinks it's something to do with like online gaming because like. Right now, currently, you can only do like online Nintendo Switch online games with with, with, with your friends. So now, I might I think it might be like open to everyone and like oh, if you want to just go like an online lobby and play with friends, maybe like a Mario Kart sixty four or mm. like, um. Not, well, I guess what like is, wait is F Zero is this, is only there's only one F Zero game right on there or is there like the classic ones? Uh, they have F Zero ninety nine, and then they just added the Game Boy Advance Game Boy ones. One that yeah. was only that was only in Japan, and then one that was released in the West. 
Yeah. And they have uh, F0 on N64. So like well. and like because especially with the regions that they pick like and of course you know sadly they left us out I was ready to go I I was able to click it and then I was able to get a message from them being like you're not eligible because you're a different re-. I'm like you best. Yeah, you're Canadian yeah, yeah you're, you're you're Canadian you don't get out of here I'm like oh <laughs> all right <laughs> the, the but, other interesting thing to consider uh, yeah. is is how long the t- testing is is on yeah. for because it's from the 23rd which i i just assume that that by that day we're gonna know what it is but then it only lasts until the fifth so it's it again it, it it's just such a mystery on why two weeks why this period and to your point riley i, I have to assume that by the end of the month maybe early november we were getting some sort of direct out of it i would think it, i mean the way they've they've kind of marketed this thing is it's an extension of nintendo switch online which right. makes me think it's it's like I don't think like an an interface like multiplayer and stuff would necessarily be restricted to that service. It obviously would play into it, but you'd have to have like an achievement system. I would hope would be generally available instead of exclusively mm-hmm. available through a paid service. Um, I don't know. It, it's, but, it's hard to say. But, but I wonder if because because it was only active to people who had an, uh, an active expansion pack membership. Yes. Up until like the day before things, I, I wonder if that's kind of the same thing that you know, PlayStation Japan was doing for pre-orders for the 30th anniversary, where it's like we don't want just anyone to sign up for this; yeah. we want the hardcore. So I, I don't know if that's it's hardcore. Yeah, yeah, we, I don't know if that's indicative of what the playtest is uh, incorporating. Yeah, if, if it is just uh, you know an expansion pack exclusive feature, or if it's just yeah. we want to kind of bottleneck exactly who can sign up by putting yeah. restrictions on it. Is, yeah, my my assumption is it wouldn't be like a Metroid Prime Four beta or something no. like that. You know, like no. that's not my take. So I don't think it's like a core game. It Maybe has to be something in the weeds, right? Of the service, yeah. So yeah. I I am curious to see what it is, and I guess when does it start? The twenty third. So we're coming up on it pretty quick. Yeah. So, well, I think we're we'll tomorrow, know yeah. Imminently, um, what what the plan is there, which is exciting. I think it's cool that Nintendo's got stuff going on and they're teasing expansions on some of the some of their online offerings and services. So, I'm hoping for the core Pokemon games, which I know this wouldn't be, but I hope it's an ex- <laughs> it's built upon in some way. That would be sick. That would yeah, be nice. Blue. Yeah. Blue. Nice. Oh, I'd play that. No problem. Right. Especially home with home, home, yeah. home integration and everything. That'd be nice. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it's uh game pass or something like that. They're adding to the NSO expansion service, a plugin. I mean, game pass is everywhere right now. Know, they play Call of go. Duty Wait, with the game pass, because I know they mentioned Call of Duty. That's also online. Uh, Sorry. like multiplayer. The multiplayer yeah. called? Oh my god! I can't yeah, they got Warzone. That. They announced Warzone's part of the streaming. I can't imagine you winning any matches on your TV because they. Like, uh, yeah, no, I think you're probably right. Because <laughs> <the, laughs> I feel like I feel like you'd be tonight. so. I feel like you're just asking for like I'm too good. So let me just let me just made it make a challenging part here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let me just put the lag on. With, I'm playing streaming and the game already with that. Oh my good luck! Great good day luck to jump person. in though. Oh, oh, you're gonna be oh. racking up those dubbies. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, one hundred percent. That was, that, that was like the day when Fortnite came to Nintendo Switch. I just played it for three days. Oh straight my god, racked up so many Ws. <laughs> Maxed up my battle pass. Yeah, these everything. kids didn't know what hit them. <laughs> they don't know what's going on. They're like, "Where's this guy shooting me from? <laughs> what's going on?" Back when, yeah, that... back when there was still no, like there wasn't a no build option, so kids were trying to build on their Nintendo Switch. It was like, uh, uh-uh. yeah. that's not happening. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's wild! Yeah, that's a perfect day. If you want to rack up some kills, some uh, oh, yeah. some poor Amazon folks are gonna be jumping on. So to stack some bodies. There good you luck, go. good luck to them. Um, I also want to bring back to Dragon Ball. By the way, uh, first twenty four hours, three million sold units. Huge, huge, absolutely nuts. They had, I, I think, they had it. more people on like the before the game even released, but during the uh, early early access time, it was like ninety four k or something like that on Steam alone. So. I know, like I think, like the 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 next huge install base is probably PlayStation as well. So, uh, no, absolutely crazy and, and great great numbers to see. It does, the game just feels like old school, like PS2 Wii era, yeah, like is. GameCube era, honestly. Where like you just unlock by playing more characters, you know, and you know, you don't have to buy anything. So, being able cool. to wish for more characters is such a great mechanic too. Yeah, 
And there's three <laughs> dragons this time. Before, there's only one dragon back in the day. So <laughs> now there's three. Oh my, oh my god. I think I only um, have one Dragon Ball, so I need to I need to get going on that and get some more characters. It's gotta, it's gotta keep. Is it random? Up. Is it random what characters you get, or you get it, a choice of two? Yeah. Hmm. Are those random, or are they relevant to your level, or? I think random. I don't. I, I haven't made a. I haven't made a wish yet. I don't know. <laughs> I, I got Goku it, Black. That's all I. I know. Yeah, that's a but good I, one. Well, then, like you have options to like you get Zenny and you just unlock them that way too, or or you could play a story. Like there's three ways of unlocking people. Like you got to wish for them, you get Zenny to unlock them, or or you could just if you play through a story, you're like oh this character's unlocked now. So it's almost no like Zenny, Smash Brothers. No problems. Exactly. No say. money, more problems. That's right. More steady. More they do always say that. <laughs> that right. that's, they're often <laughs> saying that. Um, they blow all the time. Going, <laughs> going on to our next story. And uh, Bandai is also dealing with some layoffs right now, which is like, it's odd because, like, you know, Dragon Ball selling, like, Bandai does a lot of, like, they're all over the place. I don't know what, like, because Dragon Ball selling well, but then you have a game unknown that's coming out. Unknown Nine. I bet you majority of people forgot about that game that it's coming oh, yeah. out. Unknown, unknown Nine, yeah. Unknown Nine. Unknown that's game. Unknown game. Unknown. Yeah. That's, unknown that one's game. coming. <laughs> <laughs> that one's coming out like what next week? I don't even remember when. It's I, this I gotta, week, I believe. Is it this I think week? So. I think I it's think really week. close. I don't. Yeah, I scheduled. Uh, I scheduled a post for it, so I think it's this week. There you go. I uh, hope so. <laughs> I hope. Well, yeah, I, I might hope. be wrong. Yeah, Maybe eight, I'm fired. I don't know. Eighteenth. No. Yeah. Um, which like you know, for me, I was tracking this because you know there is Canadian ties to it. Like a, a Canadian studio is working on this uh, on the uh, Re- Reflector Entertainment. They're working on this based out of Montreal, but like they're all over the place. Like I, and I can see like I don't like I don't know. I don't know if you guys heard any news about their uh, recent uh, layoffs and everything. Uh, with I did. Anti. Yeah, yeah. What was it? Bloomberg reported it, right? Yeah. Well, Bloom- Bloomberg. <laughs> yeah, 200 of its 1,300 employees have been moved into expulsion rooms, which is crazy to read. About. That is a crazy. Yeah. Japan has very intense like layoff laws. Yeah. So yeah. like the way that you get someone to move on is essentially get them to quit. It's just put so them into the playoff just rooms. rooms to just do nothing in. Yeah, and then turn up the heater. <laughs> All right. Sweat it out like Sweat it's too it hot. It's if you leave, you're you're fired. I I quit. You know, type of thing. Like that's that's wild though. Uh, but like their whole portfolio, like they just I don't know, they, they tend to just do wacky things from time. Like Dragon Ball obviously is a big, big uh big seller for them. But then like then you're not really marketing your next game. Like wh- like why? How do you start to make money if you're not if you're not supporting all the games? Like Dragon Ball had endless. So endless, um, yeah. Really Dragon Ball's marketing. One, what they well, they name some of the IP that they kind of are setting aside, right? Some of the less successful IP. Like one was a Nintendo project, yes, allegedly. Yeah. One was, I think, One Piece. One Piece, yeah. And then there was and, a, there was another one, a Naruto game as well. Yeah, a Naruto. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know those games were even coming out. <laughs> just, just to show you. And like they have, they have smartphone games, and like uh, apparently they're, uh, I think like the third quarter wasn't even doing so well either. I think they lost like 141 million or something like that. Or so, I'm, I'm just trying to read up right here on this good old Bloomberg, uh, Bloomberg title here, Bloomberg title here. But uh, yeah, but hopefully, oh, <laughs> hopefully they get think, hopefully they get their act together. Um, and they go, and sadly, with another one like Ubisoft might be having another one coming up as uh, you know, my one of my favorite games. They were, I was, they were told like there's been many, not, well, they were told, but there were many um rumors or uh, many articles about um X Defiant coming out. Like, um, they're only supposed to have sorry, they only have until the third season to figure out their declining player base. And now they're just reporting that the game is gonna just end on season, season four, and this is just a report that just came out. Um, which kind of blows my mind. If a game's just gonna end on season four, just end it now, type of. I guess. <laughs> well, I guess. I, <laughs> right? I mean, the assumption is that content's already made, so at this yeah. point, as well, roll we'll it and make some money. And what, yeah, just, money. just hope. Just hope. But like, from a oh, consumer maybe. and a player standpoint, I don't know why on earth you would buy a battle pass. Why you would buy seasonal content? 
Yeah. If it's just shutting down. Yeah, yeah. you know, but <laughs> but I do get it from a, a you know Ubisoft's perspective where it's like this work's already done. You might as well continue to support it. At least have the the good graces of whatever fan base you still have remaining, and just kind of keep it going for as long as possible. Maybe keep it open until you know a year anniversary. I think that that's what the timeline would be if they that you shut it down after season four. Like what is the player count on it? Like why? Like how low is? I. It? It's hard to tell. It's not on Steam. Like it's only on uh, Ubisoft Play and and then consoles. Like and then that's the thing. Why just bring the game out to Steam? See what happens. There's a free to play game. Steam players love free to play games. Plus a shooter. Why not? Like it might bump up yeah. the the player count. Like, I know. Like originally they had like a million players playing it when the game came out, and then it just dropped after after that. I don't. Um, I honestly have no idea what, how reliable this is. But I'm on ActivePlayer.io, and in the last 30 days, they had 1.5 million players. Like total? Is like, I don't know if you'd pull the plug on that. You know, like that seems weird That's, to me that they'd be like that. Yeah. With with a 30 day loss of 47,000, which I mean isn't great, but at the same time, it's not it's not a stake to the heart, in my opinion. It's it's wild to me they're considering shutting this down and Skull and Bones is still out. <laughs> wow, they yeah. got me <laughs> some money off of that. <laughs> That's ten well, years investment. They probably oh, they have like an obligation to the government that it was developed there too, right? So I thought the, I thought the <laughs> obligation was just to release the game. The game's out Maybe. now. You could sink the ship. You know. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, Thank you. Thank that was really good. Thank you. I have my own. Moments from time to time, you know. X Defiance player <laughs> count for October 14th, 2024 is estimated to be 1.1 million players, according to playerauctions.com. Again, I don't know how legitimate any of these numbers are, considering, yeah, you can't really pull from Steam, so I don't know where yeah. they're pulling this from. But I, I remember hearing that was like when the game first came out, it was that many people playing it. Uh, well, this is yesterday. Oh, at, at the time of recording. So it seems like there's I, still a good. I can tell play. you now. I don't think there's a million people playing that game because there will be certain hours of that game. And you're like, you can't find a match in a certain mode. I'm like, it's impossible. And they don't show you this many people are online right now. Like, got outlet. it. Because I, I don't know if Call of Duty does that still. It used to be like this many people are online. Yep. Call, yeah, 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 yeah. They don't do that. They, they Ubisoft's like, we're hiding this number. <laughs> like, we're not. We want people to know how many people are actually online right yeah, now. More, more often than not, it doesn't really. Yeah. Them to reveal that. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's just not really put that yeah, number out yeah. there. Um, Skull and Bones right now on Steam has two hundred seventy nine people playing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I props right, to them right now. Props yeah. to them. Someone's I really mean, enjoying Steam, that game. Steam so helps. Just, Steam so. helps, man. Like it, it does. Just, like there's a lot of people who just like it is it, uh, it boggles my mind, but like it, and I don't know how you guys feel about this, but there's some people who are like I just won't install Ubisoft Play or Epic Games. Like they're like why? Steam, like that's, that's the thing that I never really understood. I don't why. understand it either because but people are like no, I don't want another platform. I rather just buy it on Steam. Like the people literally will wait until a game will show up on Steam. Yeah, but it really sucks when things don't come out on Netflix and you're forced to <laughs> go hit another button. Right. To watch the boys, <laughs> crazy how life works. I computer doesn't have enough space for another platform. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's it just kind of bonkers to me. Like, <laughs> like consumers are that well trained that it's like, and not to poo poo on anyone who has a preference, but like, or yucka yum, as uh, the other Steve would say. But um, it kind of blows my mind. It's just like it's just a storefront. It's yeah. just like a launcher. It's uh, Epic Games is giving away games like different games for free every week. Right? And people are like, no, I'm just, I'm, I can't be bothered with that. I, I, I do I understand want to download like, Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite and the free yeah. games, that's it. Well, and, and to that point, <laughs> I, I do kind of under, understand it to a certain degree where it's like, well, I want all my purchases to In be on this one. one platform. Because it's like if you go yeah. to, you know, I got that. The Apple TV app, and you're like, I'm going to buy one Marvel movie here. Go to, uh, you know, Prime Video. I'm going to buy. Another. That's your, annoying. Your yeah. library just gets like out of control and stuff like that. So I understand that to a certain degree. But but a lot of them that, you could just launch from that platform. Yep. Like Steam, Steam allows you to integrate with any platform or Epic. You can just launch it from there. Yeah. I again, I I understand it to a certain degree, and then at that point, I'm like, you guys are insane. <laughs> but. 
to your point, Marcel, I, I, it does make me wonder why Ubisoft is so adamant about not doing this for games as a service. Because it's, it's like, I understand wanting to have your platform, wanting players to come over here and everything, but you're just killing your own games by not servicing yeah. as many players as you possibly can. Like, Absolutely. if it's, if it's sh AC Shadow, sure, put it on Ubisoft Plus or whatever, or, uh, whatever their app is, and, and keep it there. If you really want it to, to exist there and you want those purchases to go through you but like x defiant i Free mean to I, play yeah <laughs> but everywhere i don't get it just have like the ubisoft play integration like what playstation is doing the, the, the argument there is just yeah if you put it on steam then any purchases made there you know you had to, pay, you had to pay like the uh, 30 or whatever 30 yeah everything. but yeah. i i think that's worth it than just not having players at all and yep. shutting your game down a year after it launches. What's odd with Ubisoft is that, like, before, now they're, because you can see they're panicking. They're just throwing every game on, uh, every Assassin's Creed on Steam now. Like, Mirage mm -hmm. was just announced going on Steam. But, like, before that, they will have it on Ubisoft Play, but then they will also put on Epic. But you're paying Epic as well. So, like, just put it on Steam. <laughs> I, don't, like, I don't understand. Go where the players are. You know, is this, like, you like you set up a shop in the, in the, in the like, in the, population of zero like what do you do yeah. like what do you do <laughs> it's a really interesting time in the industry like I, i'm kind of curious to see how things are going to shape up and and how things play out because it seems like a lot of the, a lot of the bigger companies are are hitting some walls right now which is interesting and and yeah. a lot of indies are coming up and new teams are being formed and there's been a there's a big shift in who owns what and all this stuff so it is really interesting right now to see to try to envision what it looks like in the next 10 years. For sure. And I think that we're quickly mirroring what's happening with, you know, traditional streaming platforms where everything used to be on one. It was Netflix. And then all of these companies were like, but I want mine. So, you know, Ubisoft started making theirs. Epic made theirs and everything. Yeah, they made theirs. Activision had theirs. Grand Theft yeah. Auto made theirs and everything. But now yeah. we're getting to a point where just like streaming people are like but i don't a have the money for all of these platforms or two i don't have the time for all of these platforms and now people kind of just like streaming once again are kind of just in this position where it's either they kind of are nostalgic for you know a la carte physical purchases or they're just gung-ho for their one service they're like i subscribe to hbo and apple and that's it the rest of them I just don't even really. So care here's about. my question: If you think that five are gonna make it, which five are they? Steam. Uh, well, are we talking platforms or like uh, digital storefronts slash plat like digital platforms? Uh, well, yes. Yeah, which I mean, kind of will lean it lend itself to Microsoft well, and I, you know, like the, there's crossover there. Yeah, so. I, well, Steam's a guarantee. Epic Game Store, I think, is a guarantee because they just have too much money to yeah. to fail. Uh, PlayStation Network, obviously. NSO, I think, is another one. And after that, I, I'm not confident in any of them. To be I totally got, honest, I'll add I'll add Gog in there. Oh, good call, yeah. Gog. Gog, like especially now where they're like, you buy a game for us, you're keeping it. That's yeah. your game, like. They they've been popping off a lot lately, so yeah, yeah. The Steam, I think they they Steam had to be like, yeah, you don't own anything from, from us, so you know. Well, they even put that little, little <laughs> notice. It's like, oh, you're just pur purchasing a license. So you Suck know, ass. this is not yours, sucker. Yeah. It's been years. You didn't own anything. You know, <laughs> fooled you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. like I like, and I don't think I don't like Epic even like does do they even lose money? Epic, I feel like like with, with their storefront, I don't think they really lose um, anything. I think they're give us a way for Fortnite free. and stuff, Fortnite, Rocket League, Fall Guys, like they're all linked to that. They'll, yeah. they'll grow that probably in time as well. And then Alan Wake is there and they 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 score some exclusives and and then they do their, you know, free games, game so partnerships fine. and stuff like that, which I mean yeah. is a loss for them, but I think they recoup it so <clears> easily <throat> in Fortnite and in yeah. their in-game purchases and stuff like Yeah. If, in if the you end, look the fact at that they own the engine that all of the games are built on. It's, if you yeah, look at their cash flow, they're just it's, positive it's, the entire time. Crazy, like they, yeah. they can give me games all they need to. Yeah, yeah, that's and they I think that's why. Like I don't really think they're losing anything because, like you know, like you said, like, if a company's using their engine, if they have, at least was it like they sell over over like a certain amount, like they then they get yes. then they get like a fee or something like that, or yeah. they get like a payment out of that. So um, yeah, I think it's a million or something, a million copies or something like that. That's it's just wild. So like, can you imagine like 
Like, and then uh, I guess that's also until for like indie games too. Like, imagine you're like, oh, we hit a million. You're like, ah, shit. Well, I think it's a million in revenue, not copies. Yeah, yeah, revenue. That's good. Yeah, I'd take a million in revenue. I would, why, why not? You know, I wouldn't hate no. that. No, right. Um, so the tweet that went out, I was trying to look for it. Actually, is uh, from a leaker. Once again, this is just a great shot, a great great assault uh, uh, moment here. It. It could be true, you don't know and everything, but Exafina is already dead. Ubisoft research team is actively asking their testers to have another in-house test session and give um, if slash repeat their fit, uh, feedback. Multiple sources told them that it's possible that the game will end with support after season four if they can't get enough players. I, I they didn't like this again. They need to throw this game on Steam right away. Like I'm surprised that it's not out on Steam. This game's been out for what six months now. Is that it? I thought it was. Yeah, that's it. It's only oh, wow. May. This game, this game's been out. It's only on season two. Um, they came with the the new faction from uh, New Dawn, but uh, I'm I'm surprised not. Like everything else is made on Steam after six months, and like Mirage is out now, and then uh, Shadows going to be day one. That's just all mm-hmm. like all desperate they are. Um, I'm just yeah. I'm surprised it's not out there yet. So I have to wait and see. I, I, like I said, like, I, I know I like the game. Some people are like, eh, and everything, but it's a it's a fun sh- it's a fun shooter for a free and play game. You know, it reminds me of old COD with the sure. minus the funny leg movements yeah. and everything. It, it's <laughs> so. not a bad game by any metric, but in yeah. my opinion, it's, it's just a, a game. Unfortunately, I think, it's, I think it's hard. I just think service games are such the wrong play right now. Is like yeah. you're coming in, and it's like, dude, I've already dumped like five hundred bucks into Fortnite skins. Like I'm not I'm not shifting up now, right? Like yeah. to the point, it's the Steam investment. You're like, well, I'm already in this ecosystem. Like, I'll putz around with Call of Duty and maybe get some stuff there yeah. every once in a while, or play like a couple yeah. rounds with you guys. But like that, I get feel your like I got achievements. People somewhere. love those, you know. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Get your achievements, score platinum, you know, whatever mm-hmm. you want to do it. But uh, yeah. I think I think it is just like service game fatigue. It, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because yeah, to your point, the the further out, like month over month over month, year after year, the further out we get of these service games. The less people are gonna go and adopt them, unless you are maybe a Marvel Rivals with a like a bona fide banger of an IP behind it. Oh, that game's gonna make bank. It's gonna make so much money. I feel like once that came out, December. I, wanna, I, I really want to play it. Yeah, December comes out. See, I, even that, I'm like in your Christmas I, money. I I don't even I'm not even just really <laughs> bullish and, and confident to say that that money that game's gonna make a whole bunch of bank because I December really, sixth yeah. December sixth I I could see there being a huge fallout after the holidays where people are like eh I got it and that's it only because people, Fortnite's gonna be out and Call of Duty is gonna go back to Verdansk and everything I just feel like there is so much Verdansk. so much nostalgia and ip driven stuff with fortnite call of duty even overwatch and apex to a to a somewhat lesser degree that nothing's certain anymore yeah. even if you are tied to marvel you gotta change your name to stevie verdansk when it comes out easy oh, easy. 100%. Easy. <laughs> easy easy i'm putting well, it in my calendar right now for yeah March. please please yeah. it's just to remember yeah, i'm here stevie just for verdansk. the name everyone <laughs> march 1st locking it in there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, but you know, I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I don't know. With with, with in tops of uh, Marvel Rivals, like people are already losing their mind just to play the game, and I and, like the skins in the game. People are already like frothing from the mouth for just for like skins that they know they're going to get later on in the game. It's a really it's, cool art style. It which, is. Art style I mean, is amazing. Frankly, Concord totally lacked at launch, so it is like visually like like and, and you know all the characters which is also appealing yeah. so it's like oh i'm going to be venom i'm like that's cool that is with their art like our like this game and like, i've been testing out frag punk this week as well there's another mm. one like it looks absolutely amazing as well i think their approach is good too with marvel rivals because you get all the characters for free like you don't have yes. to pay for the characters so it's yeah. like right up front it's like oh i could try whatever and it's like oh i'm really good with scarlet witch but oh and then they released a, a costume from comic 87 of that. So it's like, oh, okay, well maybe I'll spend 10 bucks on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have the exclusive costume. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm uh, like, I, I think that I think at least their approaches seems good. I, I I'm curious to see their roadmap long-term because that's what's yes. going to make or, or break it. But uh, at least they seem to have like 
Concord didn't have like goodwill going into launch, Marvel Rivals really seems to. Yes. Do yeah. do we know what sort of like modes they're going to have? post-launch like anything like that because i don't think they've really talked about their post-launch roadmap but even like as a full release is it just what they had in the alpha and beta i don't know i I really don't know steve i would assume as a launch like you know the rank mode and because like the the Fortnite. so my my assumption is that they're holding off until the Fortnite season ends Mm -hmm. which is a marvel themed season yeah that disney now owns a chunk of epic as part of this thing so Damn. all of that stuff i think they're like being mindful of that and gonna drop it lead up to christmas or holiday and then you're set so i i'm i, I don't really know if they've talked too much about it while they let that play out yeah because that's the only part of the, to me of marvel rivals where i'm like i'm just not really sold is they they seem very upfront of like we're gonna we're gonna get you on board with all these characters and costumes and everything but i'm like what's the content of this game even look like because from the alpha yeah. that i played i'm like this, this is the most like bare bones modes that you can offer in an online game and to me someone who loves you know competitive online game modes i'm like this this doesn't really do all that much for me unfortunately so it wasn't like overwatch the same way yeah and that's why i did not like <laughs> overwatch <laughs> I, I think the only i think the only people should be worried is overwatch people are like well we're screwed now yeah i did get i did get blue venom from the beta so yeah, you grinded really for him, yeah. yeah i did get blue venom so i'm set marvel yeah. versus capcom venom did you get the scarlet Day witch one too or no uh, that was from the alpha, right? Yeah, yeah. I think they should allow the consoles people to get that one, though, right? Because I don't think so. I think it was like because it was only on PC. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't on consoles. Yeah, it was on consoles. So I only, I only got Blue Venom. I didn't get that to make any alpha. sense. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, yeah. See, now you're not gonna get the costume from Comic Eighty Seven. Yeah, you know, you're Comic yeah, Eighty Seven yeah. of Scarlet Witch when she yeah. ventures into the multiverse of madness. <laughs> when she goes. <laughs> I'm Scarlet Witch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, well I, iconic. I'll never iconic. Uh, best best panel of comics ever. One hundred percent. But I'll be wild. I'll love to do that live a live panel. <laughs> just like the people are just mad at the whole thing. I'm angry. Like too bad for you. Just but Steven Verdansk and I just reading the comic panels. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Scarlet Witch. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you're my best. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so how many of you are going to the PlayStation concert? What's going on with this? The oh, moment, fun. the moment tickets drop for Canada, and I yeah. swear to God, PlayStation. Well, you PlayStation Canada here. posted about it, so they it's got to be, it's got to be coming here. Right? But where? Where? It's- if Where? it's not Toronto, what a what a joke! What an absolute what? N- oh, 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 oh. you and I are gonna have a stern ooh, talk. Oh. I'll send a private email. <laughs> Damn, they like a written letter. Like, oh, hey, uh, yeah. hey, can I please go? <laughs> please, hey, please, give me tickets to New York. No, what what please. a great idea though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly surprised is like it took them this long to do I something know. like this. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. With all the great music and everything, you have other people doing game on stuff and and the Tommy show and whatever is I can remember his show is, his name and everything. But like it's about time. Place is like yeah, let's do it too. Like it's when Sonic does his own, Nintendo does his own as well. Nintendo, like, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, Last of Us, God of War, Ghost of Tsushima, Horizon. Those are some great games with amazing composers behind them. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm I'm all in for this. But, I'm curious, what's the one song that is going to hit you? Like, oh, yeah, like this is the one. So it's the Astro Bot song. Astro Bot the, song. Yes. <laughs> Not only that, no, it, it has the to God be. The God of War remix? No, it, it's the tree song. Do you remember? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, you remember. Okay, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Do you think they're, did they confirm Astro Bot for it? No. So the only ones that they've confirmed. I know it's a little more techno-y. But yeah, I like you gotta make it work. It could still work. Yeah, you gotta make it work. You think they could do that? Well, right. the fact is that they got like an actual com- like I can't remember his name, but the- they got an actual composer to to make the soundtrack for Astro Bot, which leads me to believe like that's someone that PlayStation would like to propel and showcase and bring them, you know, on stage and stuff like that. 
It'll be cool. Yeah. I guess we'll be able to see the set list when they go live in Europe. For sure. Yeah. See what see what they're rocking. I hope they integrate the like the old PlayStation startup sounds too. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, oh, the the from, oh, gener- yeah. oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want them to get yeah. like Ape Escape in there, some like throwbacks. Like, sure. Hardcore yeah. throwbacks would be sweet. I'll be that'd be yeah. cool. That'd be crazy. I know they don't own Crash Bandicoot, but that I can still <laughs> add it in there. You know, just be like, come on, just so give, us, so give, us some, give us some stuff. Two hundred <laughs> cities across Europe, UK, United States, and beyond. I mean, there's a I've, there's I think a ninety nine percent chance that it has to come to Toronto, right? I'll give. I'll even say three Canadian cities: Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal. I would agree there. I mean, we do have the Sony Theater here in Toronto. If they if they just don't play here, well. Yeah, I think I, I think they, move. take down I'm take sure. down the te- take down the theater. Yeah, yeah. I'll call up Doug Ford right now and get him yeah. to tear it down. <laughs> tear that down right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I I think I don't think PlayStation Canada would have shared the post unless there was it's intent so to bring it here. So yeah. I I'm looking forward to learning more about it. And yeah. to be totally honest, as a Hungarian myself, if they're going to Budapest, Hungary, they're coming to Toronto. Let's let's just be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that right. though. I can say that. I'm allowed to say to that. Toronto. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, that'll be awesome to see. That'll be nice because like they do have like a rich history and everything. Um, I was also wondering, did anyone score or see the ex- new Xboxes out today? By the way, totally forgot. Just remembered. Uh, Xbox Day. Happy Xbox Happy Day. Xbox Day. Happy Xbox Day. You know. Um. I, I did I say like, Justine had did, what, did like a little unboxing and everything. So fun. Guess um, what? There's an Xbox in there. Is it in? <laughs> I don't believe it. You're full of it. I have to see it unbox first. They had to see it unbox first. Yeah, it was a that giant X. Wow. No, I do like the new Series Xs. Yeah. Um, I think having an all white one is is nice if you're into the white aesthetic. All white, all digital. Yeah. Uh, the Starry Galaxy one is nice too. I mean, even mm-hmm. though it's kind of like a half measure to the Halo edition, if you missed out on that one, that's Which cool. Which you have, and it is a glorious console. It's that's a so beautiful good. console. I, I love it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though I put the Starfield slip over it and just have it hidden. Well, you can't let people... They, you got to hide the value. You got to hide bitch. it. Yeah, we don't want people to know. If they come in, they're like, yuck, Starfield. Hey, Starfield, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. If only it was another amazing sci-fi game. <laughs> I have the controller. I do like That's, the Star Fantasy. That controller looks like, amazing. Nice. It is really nice. No, and I I kid. I, I, I would like really a black like version that. of that, though. That would be pretty sick. Yo, that would be clean. That would be. Eh? They if did some more like people that supported space. that. Ooh. If only more people supported the game, then maybe we'd get more merch. But oh, everyone a lot of people out there right have no culture. <laughs> Me included. I'll never have culture. Oh, I hate they culture. Always, yeah, they always say that. A... <laughs> In fact, culture. I'm I'm yeah. uncultured yeah. with no culture. That's yeah. exactly no. what you said when you were in Japan, right? You were yeah. walking around being like, yeah. <laughs> no, I did not do that. <laughs> I would yeah, have back home so fast. Do <laughs> not do that, but incredible culture over there. Oh yeah, totally. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Good yeah. culture. <laughs> Um, trying to get me cancel it or something, put words in my mouth. <laughs> they can't cancel you. You're too powerful. There's no, there's they no can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I bet they'll find a way. No, you're like yeah. the Asmongold Gold of Canada. They can't cancel. Oh, 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 oh wait. Oh. Oh, whoops. Yeah, well, Riley's on our, our next episode. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, don't even get a montage. You just never address it. Just, <laughs> just out oh the back door. Yeah, there it. you go. There you Thanks go. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> just get out. <laughs> yeah, just recast me. Yeah, just, and Riley's here. And that's yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, we get a whole other Riley. Like, yeah. This is not Riley. Wait a minute. What's going Wait on here? <laughs> Wait a minute. This is mad. Uh, <laughs> one day, I do want to do. Like a top ten, like SNES or N sixty four games. This is this is cause pure oh. chaos oh. in this in this group. Now, obviously not That's today. Don't, don't you dare name a game now. No, 
I couldn't she dare. Banjo Kazooie. Oh, you son of a. <laughs> That's an Xbox <laughs> game. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. What are you doing? But no, I. If it's an Xbox game, why is it in the Nintendo Museum, Steve? Quick. How would you know that? You said you didn't go see the museum. There's photos of it online. Mm, yeah, is there. Mm. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't believe you. you. I don't believe you. Uh, what well, was well, that being said? It's a, a lovely swell episode, romance episode, romance edition. Steve, what's going on for you for the rest of the week? I'm going to be playing more Spark and Zero. I'm excited. Oh. Uh, Mar- Marcel, going back to it quickly. Finish the Goku arc, the saga, yes. Goku saga. Who who do you recommend me going to next? Uh, you know, do a little Piccolo. Piccolo, okay, cool. I'll, I'll go cool. do Piccolo. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, the obvious the answer is respect. Vegeta. I'm like, do I just want to good, but get then, like, horny just... and go to Vegeta right away? I don't know. Just Vegeta was there for most of the things with Goku. That's what know? I mean, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just gonna give you like Frieza, like and like all the like. Other people, I'm like, wow, you give us Frieza yeah. and Goku Black option? That's pretty dope. I do have one question. I don't understand why they never ask, ask two back. questions. Okay. <laughs> one, why are you like this? Two, I never understood why they didn't bring back Raditz and Nappa. I don't know. I, I even well, asked that, I mean, up to now. Yeah, like, I, because I, I'm like, I feel like they were just being told by Vegeta what to do. Right. And mm-hmm. then. But like, like in Raditz was Goku's actual brother. Yep. And they just never brought that back for any sort of exploration. But it's it's the same way. Like, well, why don't you bring back Goku's dad? Because, but like, I can see the point for not doing that because Goku does doesn't even know who he is. <laughs> just you know? doesn't like, care. Yeah. Well, he just he's just like showed up on a planet and he's like, well, I don't, yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Like, but you he met his brother and helped kill him, and then they just kind of like never <sighs> really he never showed up again. Well, like because I guess in a way, like you, you like you were gonna kill his like his son, right? So, uh, I, I mean, get Vegeta, why did it. Vegeta, Vegeta was Vegeta almost did. doing it too. Yeah, yeah. Vegeta. Uh, I mean, Frieza. You're 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 going to bat for Frieza at some point. Vegeta, yeah, like, Vegeta, and Nappa killed like all of his friends. Yeah. <laughs> so then they just never addressed. And it. Frieza committed genocide plenty of times. Where they're like. Yeah, we'll bring you as a tenth fighter because you're cool. It's like what? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is all because of one guy was sleeping. You're like, really? That's you it, you yep. can't, can't even wish to wake him up. You got a freaking angel who could, who just gave birth to a, a baby. Just be like, all right, here's a wand. Your baby's born. <laughs> like, wait, what? You can't wake up this guy. <laughs> Weeks, by the I don't way. Know. I just, I just always want to see Rad- <laughs> at least Raditz come back because to me it was like, well. But he'll just be a wash. Like he's not going to become like Super Saiyan or anything. Imagine though, man, he did. That he's so he's, rage. He's he was like, stronger than what? Goku when he showed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It was> Raditz <laughs> Redemption arc. You never know. There you go. Then yeah. just have what Nappa and Raditz come back. I mean, Nappa came back in GT. That makes me feel it better. And then, For like a moment, and, right? and then Vegeta killed yeah. him again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? Insane. I don't even yeah. remember this. Yeah. There's, a, there's an episode where like he brought back like everybody. Right? Everybody from Hell came back. Oh my god, yes. And then, and then Nappa just blew up a whole city, smiling, and he's like, oh, you're still a buffoon. And, he, and he, he didn't even say any words. He's like, ah, and he blew him up. He's like, that's it. like, what the hell? Like, what was the purpose of that? Just killed him again, so. It's these things. So that's many cool. stories to tell. So many. I think that was a Super 17 arc. That was, yeah. I think that's what happened. Super 17. Anyway. Imagine Boo's it, pretty sick, though. I love that guy. I can't believe they have like actual evil boo like the gray one yeah that guy was in there for one episode he's in there for 10 minutes and he's in the game yep that's pretty wild cool. that's pretty uh, cool. I wanted... i'm here for all the boo stuff he was yeah. always one of my favorites i wanted uh there's a another boo that should have been in the game skinny boo when he was training for the tournament yeah and he got all fit and he's whoop he whooped Goku's ass. I'm like, damn, what where's this guy? It's the, the same with the boo. long, long head tail. The long head, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Skinny book. He worked out for the first time. He's no longer fat. So the, the other one that doesn't get enough, or maybe he does in like different uh, sagas and stuff, not to go too long on this, but is uh is Chad Cell. The middle one. Chad, Chad <laughs> Cell, yeah, with the big chin. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
he's in the it's game. Like Joe, he's Joe in the game. Yeah. From, <laughs> Quagmire. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. No, yeah. you know he he's in it in the game, but he's just not there for long enough, in my opinion. Oh, he has a wicked like uh, super art. However, the his ultimate move, like he becomes he becomes the bomb. He blows up. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. He's like the hell with this, and he just becomes like massive and just blows up and then kills everyone. So I like. It. I did watch uh, Majin Vegeta do he, his sign off is like because he like kills himself in the anime, right? He's yeah. like so long, Bulma and Trunks, and even you Kakarot or whatever, and that's his send his send off move in uh, Sparking Zero. Yeah, and then and then Vegito just like dodges it and then just obliterates. <laughs> 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 so this like this big moment that got thrown completely out the wind. <laughs> there was I don't know if you see this one. There's one with Zamasu. Everyone kept getting bitch slapped by him. Yeah. So everyone like this big Kamehameha moment, and he's like, "Man, stop this!" I just totally gets bitch. I gotta find that clip for you guys. I put it. In there, the there are some great there's moments. Some good when, like, moments in yeah, this game. If you do, I don't know what the the ability is called, but when you do, like, there's that big cinematic and everything. Oh, the clash. And yeah, yeah, the and then the enemy just oh, like good. completely sidewinds you and everything. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah, unintentional comedy right here. Oh yeah, or like we go in for that, like the diving kick or something like that. You just fully whiff him. He's whiff like, him. like, yeah. where are you going? Yep. Like, how am I keep missing this? But like, there, you can make you can recreate some cool moments. Like you can do like super art versus super art with the whole Gohan and oh, Excel, so cool. Like yep. game clash, you can recreate that if you wanted to. So, and like even like setting up the teams, there's like some good Easter eggs in there. Like if you set up like a five team of like Goku, Goku from Dragon Ball, Goku from GT, uh, Daima Goku, and if you put like uh, Gold Tanks in there, everyone's like Gold Tanks is like uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be on this team just because he looks. <laughs> at, you, you actually say That's that you're like so I don't funny. and like That's or you so set up funny. all the androids. They're like Jiro's like if you if you try to kill me, I'm gonna shut you all down and like like everything's like shut up, old man or something. Like you like they actually interact with each other. It's pretty dope. There's a lot of cool Easter eggs in this cool. game. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so Steve, that's what Steve's doing. Riley, how about yourself? What are you doing the rest of the week? Um, and he never. I don't. I you know what? That's I strange. I, I might. I might play some more Dragon Ball. I I do have to beat uh, Grade Eight Vegeta. Like I do want to do that, and then I think probably some Metaphor maybe if I have time. Do you have many nice. hours? The hours. I I put like two or three in maybe, and then just see how that's it goes. Amazing. I don't, that's 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 I don't think I'll even finish the demo. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. Like, I was I'll, like uh, ten hours. It's so long. No, oh, geez. Well, I'm gonna give it a go probably at some point. I'm kind of yeah. hoping now we're at a point where maybe we see that Astrobot DLC because I'm itching to get back in there. Me too. That that's a long week. So many DLCs. That's what. Oh, Gosh. when do you think that's dropping? I think it's. I think it's a shadow drop this this Thursday. So yeah, the last Thursday time, cleared. Thursday? So oh, the last yeah. time that they did DLC, it was shadow drop the day after. So Friday. Oh, Friday. Friday 18th? or or the anniversary. Um, what was the DLC they did? Uh, they did like those three like canned episodes, uh, for the characters. It was like uh, uh, uh night spring. The, the, the night, night spring. spring. Yeah. 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 Oh man, oh man! I was like almost like a dead like like dead by daylight light type of game, right? Wasn't it? Or like they were kind of running like you're, it was like more of like a like escape type of game. I still uh, have to play that DLC. I, I have not. I I, 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 I saved it. For, I saved it for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I could like tell you. like I don't know. I for some I feel like the way how they're promoting this one, I feel like it's gonna be like uh, it's available now. I honestly feel like it's gonna be uh gonna be that, especially and then like you're talking about Yakuza once again, or like sorry, like a dragon. Of course, there's always a yeah. Yaku Yakuza game to talk about. Yeah. Marcel, what are you up to? Yeah, what are you up to, man? <sighs> you know, I, I decided to go back and relive my childhood and play some life life is strange. Mm, go back to yeah. high school. There you go. You know, playing through the Max Chronicles. The game is out now uh, for people who bought the uh, Ultimate Edition. Um, so their first episode is available. So I'm going to go check it out. See how, how far they progress. But I'm, gonna, I'm finishing Life is Strange. I did, I'm did. i up to episode three right now. I'm going to finish that and then roll into episode one and 
do this next episode the next week. So that's what I'm doing nice. today. I'll probably and just try wait and try some game. never. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just wait never. until Life is Strange all comes out and then play it. Play it all <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, yeah, exactly. Just wait. October 29th when like it, it, all of it comes out. I'm glad we don't have to wait for three months from now. They got to wait, you know, scenario anymore. So now they stopped doing that. So, yeah. Xbox has their show, actually. We didn't talk about that coming up. We just mentioned it. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Alan Waits going to be released. That's it. So, well, yeah, that's the only news we, we need. That's, that's all we care about. Yeah. 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 When do you when do you guys think the Astrobot DLC is going to drop? Next month. Yeah. You think November? I thought it was already out, to be honest. When they announced it, I thought it came out. I'm going to be fair with you. I was like, what Astro Ball DLC? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like next month, what else is coming out for PlayStation other than the Pro? Lego Horizon? When's that? Lego Horizon oh, the same right. day as... Oh, no. Yeah. No, there's no there's no date for it yet, actually. Lego Horizon? Yeah, there's no... I don't think they, they even mentioned a date. I think they I thought they did in the last PlayStation. It's the 14th. Oh. November 14th? Okay. There you go. Because I thought they didn't announce it yet because of uh, the remaster that's out later on this month. Maybe drop it alongside the Pro or something. Maybe that's right. Something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Something, something fun there to dive into. That poor remaster you got, you know. Horizon? Yeah, they always they have the worst luck. Like, there's not Red Dead's coming out. No one's going to be caring. Oh, yeah, on PC. <laughs> so funny. That's the funniest so funny. thing is everyone's always like, oh, PC is the best place to play games. It's like, dude, I had Red Dead for 14 years already. Yeah, I'm but just now, getting it now for the first time. But now we can mod it, so. I don't know if that was worth a 14-year wait. Maybe. Why? Now now the, ra- uh, the, the trains can be Thomas the Tank Engine. Mm-hmm. Just like Rockstar intended. Exactly. <laughs> and I, I'm sure someone will try You're to play some RP that, with yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the <laughs> stupidest shit. <laughs> and now you can make Dutch JD Vance. <laughs> <laughs> you can make every horse John Deere now if you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so good. And John Marsden can just be jacked the entire time. There you just go. have like an eight pack. There you go. <laughs> you know? Just Jesus, just jacked. <laughs> put a tiny little head on on like a massive frame. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Um, I just saw it here Ray really Fear the spotlights come on seven days. Steve, that's your game. Yes, I cannot I really wait. Do. That's the what is that? Fear, Fear the spotlight. spotlight. I don't know what that I think is. that's. Well, if you were at Summer Where Game have you Fest, been? you would know. Because you'd be, you'd be playing at Summer Game yeah, Fest. It was, it was, no, it's, it's the... Um, busy getting married. You would have been... You would have known I know. What it. a loser I am. It's the Blumhouse Ugh. published uh, game. Like a throwback to the 90s survival. Okay, I feel, like, I feel like I saw this. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, yeah. this sounds familiar. Okay. And then uh, in two days, a game that no one's talking about. It's so, it's so quiet. A quiet place. Road ahead. <laughs> that comes out in two days. Shh. You can't can't be too too loud what Shh. So what we turn the podcast <laughs> into an asmr video <laughs> <laughs> hey how's it going hey. great how are, are you quiet hey. i just want to say you're doing a good job hey yeah hey. keep it up there you go <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, Mario Jamboree's out in two days as well. So there you go. Or, Jamboree, Jamboree, who's rolling Jamboree. some dice? Who's I heard good things about this. There's a, there's, a, there's a pro mode on the game. That's made for me. Right? Go. That'd be a pro. That's for me. Good luck. So, yeah. With that being said, uh, we will see you all here next week. We will see what Xbox has to say. We'll probably play playing Alan Wake by then. That's my, that's my pizza bet. Alan Wake so. this Thursday. I'm not against it. Oh, that's it. I don't think anything else. They don't have anything else to announce. They might even talk about their new consoles. To let, let remind people because I don't think anyone remembers. Really? Well, oh. Walmart promoted them today, so yeah, no one remembers. Fun. So good job. <laughs> oh, good job. Thanks, good job. Yeah. <laughs> it's all a little insincere on Marcel's part, but thank, thank you, you for doing yeah. what? Thank you for doing your part. You know? So. All right. Great episode, everyone. Chad, Chad sell. Episode. End it. Chad, sell yeah. it. End it.
Chad, sell it. Marcel, get in here. Chad, sell. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.